Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for a kitchen declutter and organization. In today's decluttering video, I'll be sharing some decluttering tips as well as some organization tips and affordable organization in my kitchen. I'm going to be decluttering and organizing in my refrigerator, my utensil drawer, and the cabinet underneath of my kitchen sink. As always, this kitchen declutter is KonMari method inspired, so there will be a ton of satisfying before and after shots to give you all of the decluttering motivation you could possibly need. If you enjoy enjoy decluttering and organizing content, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And now let's start this declutter by tackling my refrigerator. As with any decluttering project, I always start out by removing everything from the space that I am trying to declutter. So here I'm just going to be taking all of the food out of my refrigerator. And in doing this, it helps you to declutter without feeling overwhelmed. So a ton of people put off decluttering or think that they can't do it because they instantly get overwhelmed as soon as they start trying and they don't even know where to start. And of course that's going to happen when you have a ton of stuff packed into a small space and it's just spilling out everywhere. There's no organization there and it just seems like too much for you to try to go through. So by taking everything out and putting it into a larger space, you can really see what you're working with and it will be a lot easier for you to just start the project and get it tackled. Not used to this. I don't know how to act, don't know how to adapt to this situation. Not used to this, no I'm not. Better let myself give in to love, believe in us, no matter what it does to my heart. Not used to this, no, I'm not. It was like if we were to wait. Okay, now I have everything out of the refrigerator and I've laid it all out on my countertops and this is a lot, you guys. It's a little shocking and also a little bit embarrassing to see how much stuff I had crammed into my refrigerator and it was just put anywhere it possibly could be with no organization, but I'm going to change that today. So now I'm first going to start by decluttering through all of this and of course when decluttering food items, you want to throw away anything that is outdated or expired which for me was mostly some leftovers that we had in the refrigerator and just a couple of condiments Once I had sorted through all of that food and decluttered the outdated items, it was time to start working on the organization system that would go back into the refrigerator. So I did pick up these clear acrylic refrigerator organization bins off of Amazon. They came in an eight pack for only like $29. So at first I was really nervous that they wouldn't be the best quality because they were so affordable. But once I was unboxing them, they were really good quality. I was thoroughly impressed and very very pleased with my purchase. So I would absolutely recommend if you are looking for any kind of organization bins, definitely go ahead and pick these ones up. I do have them linked for you guys in my Amazon storefront and that is in the description box of all of my videos, including this one. I do have to say these bins were packaged really nicely and it's not like they were super dirty or anything when I first got them in, but I do always like to go ahead and wash any kind of organizers that I'm going to be using when they are around food items. So that's why I'm giving them a really good wash up right here. And then I'm going to completely dry them all off and start sorting through all of the food. I'm going to sort it into categories first which will make it a lot easier for me to then put into the organization bins in a way that makes sense and will be a sustainable and functional system. I don't want to seem all rude, but I can't remember where I am. A mattress on an old wood floor and fragments of the night before. I don't want to waste no time. 
as you can see here, I did have these bins from Target that were like $2 for a three pack that I was trying to make work for some organization in my refrigerator and they were just not working, you guys. They were not the right size or shape and they just weren't functional or dynamic enough for what I needed and my refrigerator would get out of control so quickly every time that I would go grocery shopping. So that's why I decided to finally go ahead and invest in these clear acrylic ones from Amazon and that is actually a really good organization tip for you guys. Of course it is always appealing to try to do everything as cheap as possible but sometimes that just doesn't function for the spaces that we have. So definitely if you are struggling with creating a functional and sustainable organization system go ahead and just invest in some really good organization bins that you know will work for the space that you are wanting to organize and have that upfront investment for the long-term functionality and peace of mind. You can see that I am moving things around a ton and just playing around with different combinations and trying to see what fits best into these bins, what makes sense to fit together, and just really trying to work it out for what is going to be functional again and sustainable in the long term in my refrigerator. So this is another great tip for you guys. Don't be afraid to play around with things. Nobody ever gets it right on the very first try. Decluttering and organizing is is a constant thing that you're always working on in any space in your house. So don't be afraid to just play around with it or feel like you're failing if you're not getting it right the first time. That is totally okay. But once I do have everything sorted out the way that I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down my refrigerator while it's empty before I start putting anything back in here. I hope you guys can see that mess behind me on my kitchen table. And again, I just want to remind you guys that everything you see on social media is not always exactly how it is. So definitely take things with a grain of salt and don't get stuck in that comparison game because you might see this video and at the end think, wow, she's got her stuff together. She has everything all organized, but you can clearly see that mess behind me and just know that I am human too. All of your favorite YouTubers or Instagrammers and everybody that you see sharing their highlight reels, they are sharing just that. It's the highlight reels. There is other stuff behind the scenes. We are all human. We all have the same messes in our homes and we are all in this together. It isn't hard to tell what you were thinking, babe. Your thoughts are only getting louder. While you are up in space, I sit here by myself. For now, I decided to put the girls' juice pouches and my seltzer waters into this large organizer bin here, and I do know that that is going to be changing. I have ordered a can organizer for the refrigerator that I am super excited about, and I can't wait until it is delivered. So definitely make sure that you are subscribed and that you have your notification bell turned on, because when that comes in and I change around the system in here, I will definitely be including it in an upcoming cleaning video for you guys, just so that you can see how things are changing over time and what solutions that I am able to come up with. Over. 
Another organizing tip for you guys is to make sure that you leave some room and some space for things to change and grow. You don't want to completely pack out your space with organization of what you currently have because that leaves no room for any change and it doesn't become a dynamic or functional system that way. So definitely make sure that you have a little wiggle room and that you're not so concerned with everything being Pinterest worthy and looking like a perfect picture. Instead, you just want it to be as functional and sustainable as possible. Now that I've got the inside of the refrigerator all cleaned and organized, I also wanted to clean up the outside. And to do this, I'm going to be using my e-cloth window cleaning set. I know that it's for windows, but it just works so well on stainless steel. And this is my favorite way to clean my stainless steel appliances. I have seen that e-cloth came out with a stainless steel set though. So I'm definitely going to be picking that up. But if you wanna try any of these e-cloth products, you can go ahead and click the link in my description box and that'll take you straight to their website. Now we're all done and I just want to show you some before and after shots. So here is the before of what this hot mess express refrigerator looks like and then I'll show you the afters and you guys it is a complete transformation. Okay, here are the afters, and I first wanted to show you how pretty and brand new does this look after using the e-cloth window cleaning set on here. But now I'm gonna open up the fridge and look at this transformation. I am so happy with how everything turned out. It is so much more organized. I can clearly see everything that is in the refrigerator, so I won't be forgetting about any food or having it go bad and just not getting to it in time. There's plenty of room for us to to change and grow in this space and I'm just so pleased with it. I cannot recommend those Amazon organizing bins enough. I'm kicking myself for not having ordered them sooner but I'm really glad to finally have my fridge looking this way. But now that I'm done with the refrigerator I'm going to move on to our utensils drawer and this is going to be a quick declutter and organize. I'm just going to pull everything out of here, wipe the drawer down, sort through it and then put it all back in some new organizing bins that I've gotten. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to live best because we wanna So I did get that gray organizer from Amazon as well. The brand is Joseph and Joseph and I just thought that it was so neat and innovative and took up a lot less space than my previous utensil organizer. So I definitely wanted to go ahead and try it out. I have very small cabinets and drawers in my kitchen so I thought this would be perfect. I do have that linked in my Amazon shop for you guys as well in case you wanted to pick one up for yourself. But now we're all finished here so I'm going to show you some before and after shots. And here's just the before and now the after and as you can see this was also a total transformation There's so much more space for things in here and it is all thanks to these really cool organizers Okay, now we are going to tackle this last project in my kitchen today, the cabinet underneath of my kitchen sink. I recently talked about this in a cleaning video that I did and you guys all said that you would love to see me reorganize under here. So I'm just going to again pull everything out and start sorting through what I had in this cabinet. Oh, sure. 
for the most part, the organization system that I had in here before was working pretty well. It was the microfiber towels and also the cleaning caddy that were just not cutting it anymore. So that's really what I wanted to focus on here. I went through all of my microfiber towels and I got rid of all of them that I don't use regularly or that were just really stained and I'd had for a long time. And I kept all of my favorites and my favorites are my e-cloth and my Jaws microfiber cleaning cloths. And then with the caddy, I'm going to be eliminating it completely. And instead I got a couple of new organizers to help take advantage of the vertical space and just free up some space in here. Taking advantage of vertical space is definitely a great organization tip for any kind of space that you're trying to organize. I mean, look at how much better that looks in there with that little shelf organizer. And I did get that white organizer off of Amazon. It is linked in my Amazon storefront. The baskets and the hooks that I am using for them on the door here all came from the Dollar Tree. And I thought that they would be perfect to hold all of my e-cloth scrubbing up sponges as well as my bottle brush and magic erasers. So we're all finished with this cabinet and now I'm going to show you the before and afters in here as well. And you can see that there was an organization system in here before, but it had just become overrun and was no longer functioning very well. But now that has all changed and it is looking a ton better in here and I'm really happy with the results. Okay guys, that is everything for today's decluttering and organizing in my kitchen. I hope that you found a ton of motivation and some great ideas here today. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.